Hello guys, welcome to another video. This weekend we are doing a race called Primavera. I did it last year and I got sixth with teammates in uh, first and third. And uh, we're hoping to do one better. There's six of us, we're the biggest team there and uh, it should be really cool. The wind is uh, is absolutely howling tomorrow. So as the biggest team, I'm hoping we can we can make some cool stuff happen uh, quick set style. So uh, that should be good. Uh, it's a three hour drive away, which kind of sucks. Starts at 10.30, so we've got to leave at 5.30. Um, <clears throat> not looking forward to the drive, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, so, Harry is uh, coming to stay tonight. If you don't know Harry, all you need to know, he broke his collarbone. And uh, yeah, he's coming to support and uh, get some footage as well from the lead car, which will be pretty cool. And then we're going to pick up Matt in the morning. So yeah, should be good. And then we'll see the other four teammates at the race. We've got some cool plans. And uh, hopefully we can, uh, we can use our numbers and make some cool stuff happen. That's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, so really looking forward to uh, racing. I've cleaned the bike, got the bottles, got my kit. Yes, it's raining, and yes, I'm doing skin suit, wetsuit. I've got all the tricks, and I've even... I'll, I'll show you when we get there, but I've got a soft flask. So I'm using time trial skin suit, no pockets. Soft flask in the back, filled with gels. And uh, yeah, it should be good to go. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to racing. It'll be first race in the UK. And uh, I think I've only just about recovered from training camp because I was I was a little bit wrecked from that. It took me a while. It's been like two and a half weeks. But I'm finally just getting uh, recovered again. So uh, yeah, ready to race and should be a good one. And we'll see Harry in about an hour. So sometimes when you run out of energy powder and you're like, what do you put in your drinks? You get some brown sugar, just like Jurian Rider said. You add some lemon juice, you know, get some nice flavor, some nice citrus. That should be enough. Bit of there, bit of there, and uh, shake it up. Ooh! My mum decided to make some cinnamon danishes, which are indeed my favourite. And you may be thinking, why did she only make two red? Well, don't you worry, because those are just the testers. There's many more. One tray, two trays. We're in business, boys. We're in business. Hello, broken collarbone. Till the very next day, bum, 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 when... within the first five minutes uh, he attacked, no one was with him, and we never saw him again. Literally, he opened a up a gap real quick, we were all like covering moves and stuff like three that. Three chasers, three uh, chasers. And the gap opened up real fast, it up, I think for two minutes at one point. So the lollipop circuit uh, went out, four laps, and then back. And then, so for the last two laps, me and another guy, Oscar, were off the front. Uh, we thought, you know, hopefully get away. We weren't going to catch Tom, so it just would have been cool to, you know, trying to cement a good uh, two in the top three at the time. That was my thinking. And I was like, well, if we do start catching Tom, 
I'm gonna make this guy do all the work for the final, the post final gap, just so, you know, uh, obviously I wouldn't. Anyway, we ended up getting caught just as we finished the last lap, had the last 10k back to the finish. Um, and Elliot, whose mech was he was stuck in the tent, so he was stuck in his biggest gear. He just slid onto the front and let out the whole last 10 kilometers. race uh, vlogging and with some of the other guys it's just uh, usually it's so hectic and yesterday we're pretty hyped so we just didn't get around to it anyway brief rundown of the last 10 kilometers it's a really cool race literally and uh, we went around the final corner on this roundabout and man he went around that thing on rails I, I was like you just full full send it and uh, we went around just the two of us in the front there were three guys up the road at that point with about 20 meters gap I'd say and uh, a gap opened up behind us so I was like Elliot we've got a gap so he just carried on going absolute full gas. So the guy behind me, he's just brought me back. He's not gonna be able to kick at all because he's just wasted a huge effort. If I wait any longer, uh, not only are the guys up ahead gonna be too far ahead, but also uh, the guy on this guy's wheel is gonna come around and they may have a better chance of following me. So I was like, okay, I'll kick at about 500 meters to go on the uphill section. And man, I caught this these three riders ahead and they started sprinting too. And I was like, man, this is starting to hurt. And I just, you know, kicked again. And I, I made sure I kept to the right of the road. The wind was coming from the left. I thought about that. And I was like, as long as I stay on the right, there's no way anyone's coming around me because, uh, yeah, it's a crosswind. So it's going to be so much harder to pass on the left. So, uh, yeah, I managed to pick up the sprint to make it uh, a team 1-2, which is pretty, pretty incredible, especially when I said teammates in uh, first and third. And I was hoping to do one better. Yeah, we got the 1-2. Uh, a really good day and uh, Tom swept up all the preems as well so that was nice and uh, yeah all in all a good day very hyped we had two mechanicals including Elliot so uh, that was a bit unfortunate but we still managed to do pretty well so chuffed with that anyway that's going to be the end of the video hope you enjoyed thanks for watching another video at 7 Bridge next week and uh, see you in the next one <laughs>